is using the giveaway method the best way to rank your products on Amazon? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over everything that you guys need to know about what giveaways are, what you should know about them, if you should use them or you shouldn't, and what are your other options other than using the giveaway method, okay? So stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Trevin Peterson. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller, and that is what I do full-time, and that is what I love teaching, okay? So in this channel, that is what we talk about. I am going over different strategies and techniques on how to grow your Amazon FBA business past that six-figure mark like I did in under six months, okay? So let's dive into today's video where we're going to be discussing the giveaway method and what you guys need to know about it, okay? But before, let's dive into my seller account and let's see how the sales are for today, okay? So just for today or this week, over 20,000 in sales for the week, okay? So as you guys can see, my sales, and I don't show that to say that I'm better than you. I'm just showing my sales more consistently in my videos to basically show you guys that that's what I do and I'm a current seller on Amazon. I'm in the trenches, I'm learning things daily and that's what Amazon is. There's always different changes and so that's why I am releasing different content and updated videos like this one on different strategies that have changed from a year or even three months ago, okay? So in today's video, I wanna go over giveaways and this has been something that I've been wanted to, wanting to talk about for a lot of months now. I just haven't made time to make a video for it, but today I'm going to basically go over everything, okay? So I'm going to do a screen sharing. We're gonna dive into my computer and I'm going to basically show you guys um, everything that you guys need to know. Okay, so now that we're inside my computer, we're on amazon.com and I'm going to show you guys basically the idea of the giveaway method, okay? So for this example, we're going to be using camera straps and not Strauss, it still came up as straps. But basically the giveaway method, what it means is you're going to basically fake trick Amazon into thinking that you're selling more than you actually are, okay? So basically, if your competition is selling 40, 50, 60, 20, 10 units a day, people that use the giveaway method are recommending that you give away however many units your top competitor is selling, okay? So for this example, camera straps, I'm going to pull the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, and the daily sales, I mean, right here we see 71, we see 20, 11, um, daily sales, so 39. So that means that we're going to be having to give away 39 to 71 units per day to rank this product using the giveaway method, okay? So I'm about to show you why that is gotta be one of the stupidest things that you can possibly do is give away 70 units every single day to try to rank that product, okay? So let's pull my calculator out and let's just do some simple math, okay? So let's say we're giving away 60 units or even better yet, 40 units, okay? So we're going to be giving away 40 units to try to rank this product to the first page, okay? So 40 units every single day for let's say seven days or till we're ranked on page one, okay? So seven days is probably pretty average and normal, so that's 280 units, okay? So we're going to have to give away 280 units for seven days to rank this product to the first page, okay? So now let's go and click on this product and see how much the Amazon FBA fee is, okay? and also the cost of this product, okay? So we'll say that this cost of this shoulder neck strap is approximately $2, um, and that could maybe include shipping, so $2 landed at the Amazon warehouse, and there might be some other um, fees on top of that with the tariffs and other things like that. But let's run the, the FBA calculator, 
and the total FBA fee is 491 which is surprisingly pretty low for a product that's selling for $20 but we'll say the the FBA fee is going to be about five bucks okay so five dollars is the FBA fee and again you have to give away 280 units and each cost the cost of the product is two dollars okay so two dollars plus five for the FBA fee is seven okay so basically every time you're giving away a unit you're losing seven dollars okay and you may even be losing more okay so let's times 280 by seven so 280 times by seven is nineteen hundred dollars almost two thousand dollars in basically giveaways okay so now that's what you need to kind of wrap your head around is when you're doing giveaways it is so expensive to try to rank your product on the first page okay so two thousand dollars you can spend that two thousand dollars in Facebook ads you can spend it on PPC campaigns and you can sell the product for full price and you don't have the chances of hijackers coming in and purchasing your product at half off or 75% off or whatever you're selling it at and then reselling it on top of your listing okay so those are just a few reasons and I'll dive into a little bit deeper about the the problems with giveaways first being is you're losing a ton of money it's costing you two thousand dollars you have to order an extra three hundred units to give away which is a lot a lot of extra units just to rank the product okay so that is the first first con the biggest negative that comes with giveaways okay you have to order more product and it's going to cost you a lot more okay so like I showed you two thousand dollars extra in giving away products 40 units a day for one week and you may be giving away more and you may be giving away for longer than a week okay so it just completely depends this is just a rough estimate of two thousand dollars okay so two thousand dollars to rank for this camera strap or you could spend that two thousand dollars and spend it all on PPC campaigns okay so let's go right back to my calculator and let's say we have the budget of two thousand dollars nineteen sixty Let's divide that by seven because we did the giveaway for um, seven days. That's $280 every single day that you could use on PPC campaigns or on Facebook ads to rank your product organically. Okay, so that leads me into the second con with giveaways. Anytime that you're trying to trick Amazon into anything, so for this example giveaways, you're basically tricking Amazon into thinking that you're selling more than you currently are selling. That's a red flag to me. And that's something that Amazon, Amazon is smarter than you think they're going to catch on. Maybe you haven't been suspended yet, but if they catch on to that and they go to all the different giveaway um, softwares and they say, hey, who has used this giveaway service? And they basically get all the emails and then they can shut your Amazon account down. That's a red flag to me because I don't want to be involved in that. And I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but it has the potential of happening because you're basically manipulating Amazon's system and making it look like you're selling more than you actually are. Okay, so if that doesn't make sense, um, go back and watch it. But basically, you're tricking Amazon into thinking you're selling more than you are. And it may not be against the terms of service right now. And it may never, but for me, I want to keep my Amazon account safe. I don't want to do anything that's semi against terms of service or that has that kind of gray area. So I'm just going to do everything organically, okay? And I'm going to show you kind of the cons of doing the pros of doing it organically, okay? So you have a $2,000 budget for a week to do your marketing. And the cool thing with marketing is you may not lose all of your money, okay? So if it costs you $5 to acquire one customer, you're still cash flow positive for every single unit you sell, okay? So basically, if you spend $2,000 in PPC or Facebook ads, you have the potential to recoup some money and you're ranking your product organically and you're not losing and spending all this extra money, okay? So that is what I recommend is don't use the giveaway method go spend the extra money that you would have used on giveaways and spend up your PPC bids, up your daily budget 
to a hundred dollars every single day instead of spending two thousand dollars over the seven days of giving away free product that can lead to the third con which is hijackers okay so if you're using some other giveaway services people are looking to buy that product for super cheap they buy it for 75% off or 50% off they get a bunch of them and then what happens is they go in and send it to Amazon and they sell on top of your listing okay so then that takes away even more sales and you lose even more money okay so those are just three cons that I can think of just right off the top of my head that giveaways come with and I just want you guys to completely avoid them stay away from them and don't use the giveaway method so if you're not able to rank your products using PPC campaigns or Facebook ads then I would probably say that the product that you picked is way too competitive and it's going to be way hard to rank even if you were using the giveaway methods and it's going to cost you even more than the two thousand dollars like I just showed okay so I just wanted to kind of break down these numbers and to show you how expensive it actually costs to use the giveaway method and that's also not taking into account the cost of the service okay there's some services that cost eight hundred dollars for you to launch your product okay and that doesn't include the cost of the FBA fees and the cost of the product that you're giving away okay so please please take that into account and do product research properly because if you do it properly you will not struggle ranking your products just using PPC campaigns okay that is what I've done for every single product that I've launched I've only ranked it using PPC and I'm on the first page for hundreds of different keywords okay so it's possible I've seen hundreds and thousands of other sellers do the same exact thing and yes I've seen other people use the giveaway method and be successful with it but it just costs a whole lot more it's a bigger investment it's more time and it's also risky like I was showing with the different cons that come with it okay so um, whatever you guys decide to do I just wanted to give you guys my honest opinion and break down the numbers so that you guys are aware of what giveaways what they can potentially do to hurt your business and I just wanted to basically be transparent and be open with you guys and yeah maybe two years a year ago giveaways worked but now there's a different methods and different strategies and Amazon is cracking down they're getting smarter and they're going to reward the people that are doing things legitimate and nothing that's in that kind of gray area okay so if you guys are trying to find that secret hack to rank your product to the first page then this is probably not the the channel that you want to listen because everything that I'm doing aligns with the terms of service with Amazon because I don't want to risk my Amazon account and I don't want to get suspended for doing something that I could do better using PPC campaigns okay so that's just an example but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did Leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you have any other questions or you want to see some other videos in the future, let me know. Reach out to me on Instagram, on the Facebook group. I have a completely free Facebook group that you guys can join, and I will include all the different links down below if you guys are interested. And I hope that you guys really take this into account and apply what I'm teaching you because this is something that is so crucial and important. And I want you guys to be successful, okay? So that's my goal. I want you guys to get to that six-figure mark, and I want to help you guys and guide you along this awesome journey of creating a successful Amazon FBA business, okay? So thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.